Joining me after the 4-1 playoff victory against the Milton Keynes Thunder, I've got Captain James Fryer and uh, Greg Pick. James, uh, a 4-1 win and a win's a win. Uh, they got a goal late on, so it gives us uh, perhaps a, a tighter game than we'd anticipated going into the second leg. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we we had it in us to have a, have a bigger margin going into to, tomorrow. Um, sloppy goal to let in at the end there, um, let a guy walk to the net like that. Um, you know, Kinger had a great game all game and we didn't we didn't help him out on that one very much. Um, let a guy go, go, go get close to the net like that. But um, it is what it is. You know, they, they've scored a late goal, I think, last time they came here as well. They're, they're never going to quit. They're always going to work hard till the end and they're that sort of team. Um, I think we didn't do enough for the 60 minutes really to, to push on and, and get a bigger margin. Um, and I think we had it in us and for whatever reason we didn't do it tonight. Um, but, you know, a three goal lead is healthy. Um, can, can, going on to a big ice, a nice ice pad tomorrow. Um, you know, we've got it in us to go and win the game tomorrow and, and increase that margin and, and build confidence going into next weekend. So that's what we're going to look to try and do. Through 40 minutes, 4-0 um, four four, four lead. They started each of the three periods strongly, but uh, I thought going into the last, we might have kicked on a little bit more than we did do. Uh, I'm not taking anything away from a win's a win, but maybe I, you might have anticipated another couple of goals for ourselves. I agree with you. And uh, do you know what? I don't think we started the game great. Um, and Slava did tell us that after the first period. Um, but one period into playoff weekend and three goals up, it's, it's great. You know, a great start. Um, Result-wise, but performance-wise, you know we improved little little aspects here and there throughout the game. Um, Paddy got a really good um, goal, having taken it really well and, and finished his own rebound. You know, great work ethic, but we didn't show enough of that throughout the game. Um, and you know, they're, they're they're a team that came ready to play playoff hockey. You know, they've got to put everything on the line. Um, you know, we're we're favourites, so they've got to go out there and, and be the underdogs with a little bit less pressure. Um, and I think they put us under pressure at times, but we didn't control the puck well enough for, for periods of the game and. Uh, you know that's our own downfall to be fair Greg um, just coming to you it's uh, it was such a heartbreaking weekend last weekend obviously just observers as as Basingstoke took the league just the league just on, on goal difference how hard was it for the lads this week or, or was it I spoke to Jason Bookman and suggested you you put it behind you and you move on but I think that's really tough to do yeah I think the the actual when it happened and uh, it's difficult especially when you lose the league it's something you work for all year um, you battle every weekend and then uh, obviously to lose it on goal difference is a fashion which is, is pretty tough to to, uh, to swallow but um, I actually think the boys did a, a pretty good job this week of, of bouncing back um, we've got a pretty good pretty strong dressing room and um, I think we, we had a couple of good practices um, I think we could have been better tonight but um, you know we, we go again tomorrow and uh, we're going to try and get a trophy well, that, that's the, of paramount importance, of course. Um, the, 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 the results tonight look like they've gone the way of form, so you'd anticipate Basingstoke and Swindon winning. Uh, London Raiders have beaten Bratnell, so you know it's, it's possibly going the way we might have thought. Uh, big game tomorrow night, and, and if the Phantoms get through, we're not prejudging anything because we'll get criticised for that. Could be a big game next weekend. Yeah, it'll be a huge game, um, and it's play of hockey. No matter the opposition, they're all huge games, and you've got to play the games the right way. Um, you've got to get used to doing the simple things, the little things that make successful teams successful. Um, so tomorrow is all about consistency and building on tonight and the scoreline that we have. Um, but it, you know, it's not about the score; it's about the way we, we approach the game. It's about the way we play the hockey, and it's how we build it ready for hopefully the weekend after. Um, because every game and every game and, and team that we play from then on is, is going to be a very very good team. Um, but. You know, you want to be the best if you're going to be the best. So. And and there's no need to worry about any game next weekend because tomorrow night's the tomorrow night's the game that we need to focus on. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's all about going into tomorrow with the right attitude um, and, and build on some things and work on some things that we you know perhaps didn't do well tonight. And I would say after disappointment last weekend, uh, coming into tonight, getting getting the legs going and getting a result is the key thing. Absolutely. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, we got to. It's about momentum and consistency, and doing all the right things, and building on what playoff hockey is. Um, and so, uh, you know, we've got to stick together and, and, and go out there with the right mentality and work for 60 minutes tomorrow. Thanks, James. Greg, news this week that you're uh, hanging up the skates, uh, taking a job with the Nottinghamshire Constabulary, who recruiting for the first time in an age. And you're one of the few places that uh, you've got one of the few places. Well done. Uh, congratulations from all of us. You've had a lot of love on the internet from the Phantoms fans. And uh, just if, if perhaps you could, you could tell us, talk us through that. 
Yeah, no, it's uh, I'm chuffed to be honest. Um, it's it's been something I've wanted to do for a long time, but obviously uh, hockey's been my uh, my whole life really, and I've always known that when the day came that I would have to step away from from playing at this level um, to to do the job. Um, and yeah, basically when you know I, I, it was a great opportunity for me and threw my name in the hat, and it's been a uh, long process, but um, you know I got through and looking forward to it. So, well, congratulations from all of us at the at the Phantoms, and, and I know if the Phantoms fans will be behind you uh, in each game that we get, you know, towards the end of this season. Well done. Thank you. Cheers, guys. See you tomorrow night.